this is H.J. Bailey. And I'm J.B. And welcome back to Let's Play Second Densetsu 3! It's time for the final battle against the Masked Mage. Got a special two-part finale planned for you viewers. So let's get started. Let's head on over to the Mono Holy Land. Restocked on items and everything. We're all set and ready to go. Whoa. You can see like the, the red and the sky in the background and everything. For about five seconds. Man, this place isn't doing so well. Well, let's see what we can do. Yeah, the, there's only two enemies you can meet up with here. One of them is shapeshifters. They can become any enemy you've ever met up with in the game, or almost any enemy. I don't know if I've ever seen them become chess. I thought I did once. I think that might be just a Kaiser Mimic's uh, default color scheme. Hmm. I know they got a uh, blue gold kind of thing. Hmm. So yeah, these got. I think whenever they re shape shift or something, yeah, they get their HP back. Yeah. That can be kind of annoying. But they're not really that hard to begin with, so. I think when I was relatively lowish level when I first played this part of the game, it was a big problem. Yeah, this is a really good place to level up grind if you need to. I mean, pretty much that's one of the night nice thing I really like about this game. At least if they force you to level grind, they don't they don't force you or they don't force you to try and figure out okay which area is the best one or well there was an area back there that had good you know it's pretty much always the latest area that is the best place to level grind. And we can't grab that guy. Oh, well. Nice. Uh-oh. There's the other one. Shadow Zero. Perhaps the most dangerous enemy in the game. The only enemy that has more than 999 HP. Or non-boss. That was him! Nuts! Oh, we bear... That's what Shadow Zero can do. He can mimic your own party members and then use your level 3 techs against you. Holy cap. Woo. Oh, there's another one? No, get out of there. Okay. Woo. I have had that happen to me with uh, Duran and his Eruption Sword, which is the most powerful level 3 tech in the game, and that will kill you. Could be a oh, We got lucky to survive this one, viewers. I did not see that one coming because... I thought that was you! I, I thought I couldn't tell the difference. That was why I'm like, I didn't press the, uh... <laughs> yeah. Yay! Whew. Man. I think that's the only Shadow Zero in the game, though. So we should be fine from here on out. But if you're playing for the first time, viewers, uh, just run past that screen. It's not worth it. But yeah, they're the only enemy that can't be killed by uh, Angela's death spell, which always deals max damage every time. That's you this time, right? Right. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, we're getting a lot of treasure here. I'm pretty much just going to get up to level 48, and that should be good for the final boss, I think. What spell is that uh, statue cast? Uh, what do you mean? We got a state shade statue. Oh, I have no idea. I never really paid attention to those battle items. Uh, which one? Uh, go for spirit. That ought to be good for us. And I think pretty much at this point... Might as well go for luck or something. I don't know. Pretty much at this point, we don't need to kill enemies much anymore, if at all. So, let's just run past all the remaining enemies now. Unless we have to kill some. I think there's some rooms that we have to. But, pretty much, we're level 48. We're not going to gain another level. Let's just move along then, shall we? Now, as you noticed, we're not taking the same path as we did the last time we came here. That is because... Uh, well, if you notice, there are some pillars that f fell over. Some parts of uh, the area have been reshaped and everything because of... Yep, there it is. Ah. I was 
so 52. Guess what? But yeah, some of the areas have been reshaped and everything, so it, yeah, you gotta take a different path to get to the monitor. You can't just take the exact same way you did the first time. I think this is the only room where you have to kill a lot of the enemies. Finish him! Just like my ninja and my other LP. Oh, um, Tactics. He's, uh, he's doing pretty good there. And he can hit twice per round, too. Well, all ninjas can, but... You know what I mean. Okay, I've had enough of these shapeshifters. Have we made it? I thought there was... Oh, okay. That is it. There he is. Well, you can't see him, but... He's up there. Trust me, viewers. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Looks like he already went. Nuts. Cut down the whole tree. How'd you do that? A wizard did it. Well, yeah, he did. Yep. Kind of funny that he would be the leader of all the undead with the whole, uh, uh, well, con compared to some of the other villains that you could have had. Well, then why don't you take it off? Will it involve violence? How bad could it possibly be? Let's see. The Dark Lich? Yeah. Well, Stripe says hi, viewers. Nuts. When the Lich did that, I saw a little paw tap me on the leg. <laughs> That's why whenever I uh, game, I keep my door closed because sometimes a cat will tap me on the shoulder when I'm playing Fallout or something, and I'll be focused and they'll tap me on the shoulder and I'll jump five feet in the air. Oh, the fairy's still alive. Fight for the future! See, when you, when you go through the dialogue really fast, like I do when you're normally playing this, the music kind of syncs up with what's going on a little better. Uh, but uh, since I'm intentionally drawing out the dialogue so you guys can actually read it, you know, it doesn't quite sync up as well. Oh, well. Yeah, the Sword of Mana is in our hearts. Aww. Alright, it's final boss time! The other fire spell. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, we could kill the final boss, like, really, really quickly. Like, within a matter of minutes. And uh, that would be obscenely powerful. And boring. And you wouldn't hear the awesome final boss music. There's two parts to it. Or, well, three parts, technically. We already heard the first part. But, uh, so if you want to hear that last part, well, we gotta draw out the battle a little more. So, I'm only gonna use Fire Jutsu, Magic Shield, and that's it. I'm not gonna use any other buff, or we'll kill him too quickly. Uh, the Dark Glitch is probably the easiest of the three final bosses that you can possibly get. Yeah. See how little damage that dealt to us? Oh, it. Okay, let's go all out, then. Uh-oh, Death Spell. Okay, he does have this. That could be it. Maybe you'll survive with your luck stat? No. No, you won't. Oh, well. Sometimes it will, but... Not I remember the uh, right button to switch back this time. Oh, yeah, switch back. You got it? Yep. Okay. I want to uh, get Magic Shield back on you. I don't know if that dissipates when you die, but who knows? I think the la what happened the last time was I pressed the uh, dual shock button on my controller and it kind of flipped the control scheme. Oh, that's weird. 
Now, he doesn't have any elemental weaknesses right now, but I think throughout the battle, he'll change it, and, well, he'll, it'll be kind of obvious when he will be doing that, so. And one thing you could do to make this battle really, really easy, just get up to level 50 and start using Turn on Dead on him, and you'll deal, like, a 999 damage over and over and over again. It's just ridiculously powerful. I bet most games don't have that nice balance of challenge and leveling up. It's like an uh, Fallout, almost no matter what path, water. Well, besides that, <laughs> uh, almost no matter what skill I'm doing, I'm doing obscene amounts of damage. Like, I don't feel like whatever I can do can give me a good enough challenge at the game. Actually, along those lines, on the opposite side, in uh, Xenosaga 3, I pretty much had a hard time beating every boss up to the uh, Abel's Ark area, past that. Like, every boss fight took 20 minutes at least. Hmm. Not sure if I doubt this me not knowing what the hell I was doing in the game. Or whatever, but. I need to fight more epic. Hey, you notice the background change there? That that's him changing his elemental weakness. Jeez, so what's his elemental weakness now? Uh I I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Oh, this could hurt. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. This might kill me, because I already took some a big amount of damage. Oh, well that wasn't so bad. Yeah, because we got magic shield on everyone, so. Uh oh, background changed again. Now it's like an outer space thing. That's... Come on, Lucky! Can my luck set actually work? No, no, it didn't work. Be gone! Well, at least it wasn't you this time. That's another thing uh, New Vegas doesn't do incredibly well is the luck stat. Because once you get around that 7, 8 point range, you pretty much don't need to sell weapons or items anymore. And it's good for your uh, crit rate, but... Jesus Christ! Hey, at least it switched you back to Kevin. I guess. Well, at least she got her spell off on me. And she's still... Or, no, she's not alive. Whoa. Nice. Okay, never mind. Well, at least we got all full MP again. This is not like my first playthrough through the game where I forgot to bring, uh... What is it, uh... The cleansing herb, whatever, and my entire party got moogled, and I didn't have any way to get rid of it. Legit. Oops. I to cast my spec. But pretty much in order to get rid of the moogle status, I purposely had to let my party members die, just so they had to clear all debuffs, and then I'd use Angel Grill on them, raise them up, heal them, and then continue on. Now you can only have one debuff at a time, but yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, this is one of Angela's ultimate spells. He's got all of them. All of Angela's big spells. Man, that's a pretty high-tech animation back in the day. Holy cow, I wish we got this game. Man, Secret Romana was good, but this, this game was great. Well, I'll talk more about how I feel about both the games in the, uh... In the review after this. Come on, where's that kick ass music? Well, we're not killing you fast enough? I think part of it is determined by time. Like how long you've been in the battle. Hmm. Because I've killed. I mean, it can't be an HP trigger that determines when the next movement of the song happens because otherwise I wouldn't be able to kill him without hearing. Well, we'll get to that sooner or later. I'm just using 
chocolates just because it's faster, and he's only hitting us one at a time. So, so, so. I got more chocolate than you do. Oh, man, another one of Angela's big spells. This one will turn you into snowman. Nuts. Well, I don't want to... Kevin? There you go. I don't want to waste one of my... Well, okay, I guess this is the last battle, but I was going to say waste one of my herbs, but, uh... Kind of like the, all that, uh... Cream sea herbs you have. Yeah, you have yeah. four left. Well, I... Not again. All these bosses are just spamming on me. Come on. Heal. Heal, girl. There you go. Yeah, you get a little crap glitch every now and then. But... Wow, this is taking a lot longer than I thought. That's one thing I kind of appreciate about more modern RPGs. They have uh, dodgeable spells or more action-oriented spells that you can actually dodge, kind of like Warcraft. Yeah. There is a long spell animation or whatever, you can still do something. Yeah, that is nice. Might be a good idea to stick to your level 1 tech whenever it builds up to that level. Okay, here we go. Yeah! Kick ass! Yep. I love making this song in Mario Paint. That was so so much fun. Uh oh, he's starting to buff up. You may want to use Thunder Jitsu on him. Yeah, now let's just let's just go all out now. Are you? I think if he didn't already, he can cast Protect Up, and that could be annoying. I'm going to spend my uh, tech points because I'm talking more fish. <laughs> yeah, it does take a bit of experience to uh, be able to talk and play at the same time effectively. Oh, looks like I thought there was an actual background. <laughs> it looked like there was mountains in the background. Not a desert. I guess it's kind of a box area. Sort of, yeah. We'll learn more about that in the next LP. We're going to be following his path and such. So. But I just find it odd that this bo final boss is the only one that's susceptible to turn on dead when Hawks, uh, well, if you saw his enemies, were from the underworld. You'd figure they'd be the ones who would have the undead guys. I remember the undead boss from uh, Legend of Mana. I know there's one that's relatively... They all kind of relatively follow this kind of pattern. Oh, use your tech points. Oh, I lost back a bit of Oh, not again. Well, we gotta almost have him by now. And unfortunately, I can't use Turn On Dead on him, even though we've almost got him. We should almost have him. Why don't you use Cure on him? Oh, yeah, that might work. Maybe try one of those, uh, honey jars. Gum up his mouth. Keep casting spells. I don't think that exactly stopped him. And now I wish I paid more attention to the elemental effects. Most of the final bosses, I think, have some sort of elemental weakness at one point in time or another. Yeah! Got it! Alright, finally. Whew. Wow, that took a while. I would have thought with two human-controlled characters it would have been faster, but no!
Are you done exploding? The sound effect on that was kind of off. Hmm. It just sounded different on my emulator when I played it. Hmm. It sounded like what they sound like in Chrono Trigger, but... Hmm. Because they use all the same sound effects.